Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and tonight we're canning Garden Vegetable Medley. So here is my zucchini that I cut, I harvested, cut, blanched, and put in the freezer. Um, I was saving it for stir fry, but I got more zucchini coming and I need this now. Here's about, I don't know, eight bunches of celery from the garden. We got 10 pounds of onions and we got leeks. Let's roast some of these vegetables for my garden medley vegetables. Okay, so we've got our roasting pan with zucchini thawing in it. I have a strainer for bits that I have to wash before they go in the broth bag. And I have a strainer for my chopped veg to wash. Zucchini's already been done that. Leeks are incredibly dirty. I'm going to peel all these outer leaves off to get to the best part of that green leafy core and then I'll put that in the ready for the broth bag. Let's do the same here. That's looking a little dirty about two layers down. I know you eat a bucket of dirt before you die, but not all in one day, right? So then we, we slice them because leeks get dirt between their layers. I have to start another broth bag so you guys knows what you guys know what's coming as soon as the carrots come out. Three leeks, celery from the garden. That's garbage. These are a little on the tough side. They didn't get as much water as I would have liked. Okay, I'm gonna go wash these and put them in the roasting pan and we'll continue on. All right, cry with me, people. There's the rest of our celery and I think 10 or 12 onions. Gonna wash them and get them into the roasting pan. Now I do have, I did salt my tomatoes some. Now we're gonna just give these some salt. I don't know, two tablespoons, maybe? Maybe. We're gonna put these into a 350 degree oven to slow roast and we're going to turn them every once in a while. Now quarters are tight here and the and the lighting is bad but here are my washed rinse lids and hot water. Here are my clean jars, my rings, I found another magnet. Here is our oven roasted vegetables and here is a bushel and a peck of stewed tomatoes. Now we're going to add the stewed tomatoes and this together and we're going to can it. However, I'm going to have more sauce left over so I'll probably boil bath can a bunch of this tomato sauce. But let's, let's do the garden vegetable medley first. This is our zucchini, onion, celery and leeks. And here's our tomatoes. Let's get going. This is my new big, big stock pot. I just basically dumped two stalks and stock pots into that. Okay, sorry the view is not the greatest, but my counter is a little crowded at the moment. Just want to make sure I can you can see. Like I said, I'm doing this in a cold canner because all the vegetables are hot, the sauce, the jars are cold. We don't want any accidents. So first, we got our little vinegar rag here. I'm going to start off with tomato sauce. 
and I'm going to fill this jar up approximately halfway. We start with the tomato sauce. We start with the tomato sauce for the simple reason is we don't want to cross contaminate because if I have sauce left over, I'm going to be canning it separately. And here goes in our onions and our leeks and our celery. sauce all the way to an inch from the top always debubble because this is fairly thick stuff always always wipe your rims and threads with a clean damp paper towel in this case it has vinegar on it and into the canner that goes if I have enough to do two canners, I will do two canners. So since we know it takes three scoops of sauce, don't forget to get the juice from these vegetables too. It may be watery, but it's full of nutrients. juice in there. Bringing it up to an inch from the top. Don't waste the nutrient rich juice. Always, always, always the bubble. It's one of the good reasons I, it's one of the reasons I like putting the sauce in first because, is that a Nick? Nope. Um, I like to put the sauce in first because then it becomes easier to debubble. And it looks like we may have to put the other canner into use. Okay, I have two canners full. Uh, I've got two, four, six, seven jars of garden vegetable medley in one, and five jars plus two classical jars of just tomato sauce in the other. I'm going to put the lids on these and then we will go next. Okay, on goes lid number one, then lid number two. All right, as soon as these come up to a steady stream of steam and these bobbles pop up, or I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And after that, we're just going to can up this tomato sauce. Okay, our bobbles have popped up. We're going to set the timer for 10 minutes to vent our canners. Always, always, always vent the canners, folks. If you don't vent the canners, the air won't be pushed out and you won't get a proper vacuum. Okay, so always vent your canners for the allotted amount of time. My timer has gone off and I'm going to put my 10 pound weights on. Now I cold packed this, folks, so I'm going to can them for a little bit longer. If this was hot pack, it would be like 25 minutes for pints, 35 minutes for quarts. I, I always err on the side of more time just because I'm adding extra vegetables. But these were cold packed, so I'm going to say as soon as we get our first vigorous jiggle, if they were hot pack, I'd say 35 minutes. But these were cold pack, I'm going to say 45 minutes, okay? And as soon as I get my first vigorous jiggle, and I set the, the timer, I'm going for a swim. I've still got tomatoes to can. Okay, my timers, my uh, canners have given me their vigorous jiggle, so I'm gonna set my timer for 40 minutes. Please be careful when reaching in around hot canners. It is very easy to get burnt just by touching the pot with your arm. And there we go, I'm going for a swim. Okay, our timer has gone off. I'm going to shut the canners off and I'm going to, and the reason I'm not in the picture is I just got out of the pool. I'm going to let the canners cool down naturally. Remember, letting them cool naturally is a part of the canning process. Do not try and rapid cool your canner. Don't jiggle the weight. Don't take the weight off. You know, don't, for God's sakes, don't try and open them. 
Let them cool down until they're safe to touch the metal with your hands. So I got 12 jars of garden medley vegetables and nine jars of tomatoes. Not bad. Now I am gonna say the zucchini went mushy in the roasting. So from now on, I will slice and salt my zucchini to get the water off. I will rinse it, drain it, and I will freeze it. I'm not going to blanch it. Live and learn. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, that solid winter comfort food right there, folks, and full of nutrition. Take care, God bless. Remember folks, if you're a home canner and you're not trying four jars canning lids, you are missing out. These are heavier than any other disposable lid on the market. They are a US company and if you order over $100, your shipping is free. Check in the description box below this video for a link to four jars canning lids and use the coupon code half acre, all one word in capital letters for 10% off. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for ideas and recipes. For Jarks Canning Lids, you can't go wrong. Yeah.